Alrighty then, welcome back. So, so far we have a problem of knowing the user that we actually sent our message to. So let's come back here to thread.php. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe I should have named this to single thread. Eh, I don't know. Okay, so wait a minute here. Okay, so let's go back to messages.php here. Let's go down, down, down. So to this part where we are picking the user. So we have to decide whether to pick the sender or the receiver. Now, the way we decide this is, let's do this. Let me uh, copy that and let's just put it here. I will say, my ID is equal to, I'll set it to the sender initially. But then I'm going to say if, oh, actually, we can do a very simple if statement here. I'll say if message sender, we have our own ID here, don't we? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? One second here. Let me go to the class and get this. I want to get this. Okay because that's my ID, the current user. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it there. So me is equal to the current user, of course. So we're going to ask the question, if this is equal to me, like so, and then put the question mark and then say, if this is true, then, if sender is equal to me, then do the opposite, okay? Then let's, um, let's let my ID be equal to the receiver. Because the idea here is that we want to stay away from any of the IDs which are equal to me, okay? So, if sender is me, then let's get receiver instead. Or, full colon will get the sender. But for you to see this clearly what's going on, uh, put brackets here. It helps to see that this is the condition. And then here we're just going to say my ID, my ID there. Okay, so just like that we'll see who we're sending the messages to. Refresh, and there we go. That looks much better. Okay. Now we need to be able to click on this thing in order to go to the actual messages. So no big deal. We go to thread.php and make the entire thing, put the entire thing in an A tag. Okay. And by the way, we remove the delete. It's, uh, it's not needed no more. Delete. This is the part right here. Out. We would be deleting the threads from inside the thread, not from outside. So here we just click on the thread to go to it. So at the very end here, I will put another div. Hmm. So I will say, let me add some styles. I'll say background color. Let's try blue. And then height 100% with, sorry, 50 pixels. And float. Actually, let's just say position. absolute and then I'll say right 10 pixels top um, let's try four pixels okay so let's see what we've got and refresh and we have everything on the far right here now the reason why 
this these divs that are supposed to be in here are out here is because our our div here that is holding them doesn't have a position set it has a position the default position set so let's just change it to relative so just can just say position relative so that we don't disturb what it does but we can use that to block these divs so if i refresh now they'll be inside there all right so let me inspect the element let me change the color a little bit so this is up to you this is just design so you can uh, color these things as to whatever pleases the eye so where am I I'll replace that blue with that and obviously reduce the height to maybe 90% refresh okay that's much better and then I want them to look like arrows a little bit so now inside this div I want to put let's try um, something like that let's see yeah it doesn't look so good an icon would be better so you know where I'm going with this you can use font awesome that's up to you or I want to just go to icon monster and get me a uh, an arrow there Ooh, my internet rather slow so while this is loading let's continue so what I will do instead, I will put a border radius, border top um, right uh, radius, border top right radius, like that. I'll set it to 20 pixels, or maybe 20%. Uh, Let's see how that goes. Okay, so it bends there a little bit to follow that. But I want it to be an arrow, so let's try 50%. Mm -hmm. Then I can do the bottom as well. Just change these to bottom. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so here on this website, I can uh, arrow. Let's search for an arrow. Okay, so this is entirely up to you what arrow you want to use. What suits what you are about to do. So I was going for something like this. Or that. Uh, but I think we can make do with this let's go to embed as usual and I will copy what is in there and paste it here therefore if I come back here and refresh I have that okay now if you want to center something um, in another container you can say mm, let's add some styles here you can just use um, position again position absolute and then I'll say uh, left 50% and then uh, top 50% like this so it overshot and went the other side so that's because it's using the corner of this thing as the mark for 50% so what we need to do is translate it away from there so we'll say translate 
actually it's transform sorry transform and then we use the translate and we translate uh, to let's say minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent close that that ought to do it there we go and you get it in the center like that now the coloring if you want to change the color you use a fill so I'll say fill white used to that semicolon mm -hmm. there we go and then now on this one I will add a cursor over a pointer like so very nice okay so if you have better ways to create uh, imagery here you can use those like font or some of course that would be much better but the idea is so that when we click on this we are taken to the actual message so here let's add the a tag or if you don't want to do this you can just put the a tag on the whole the body of the whole thing that's okay as well on the main div so href let's put the a tag here and at the back here push this in all right so we obviously have to put a root and then uh, what do we put there wait a minute now in order to know how to go to these messages let's go out of here go to messages and then let's click message and we look at the link here so it says messages read and then the user id of the person that we are discussing with okay so let's copy that kind of thing so root and then messages and then read and then the id so here we'll put another php tag and root out uh, message like this copy yeah and this will be uh hmm this is an a case of wait a minute this is similar to what we had here okay we have to know but since my ID was done inside this loop so it's actually available for us to use so I'll go back here and use my ID so I'll just don't not use all this I'll just say my ID there. okay so back and back and if I click here I go to the messages and if I click here I go to the right messages simple and straightforward mm -hmm. so now in the next video we'll look at how to see the correct message here because right now if I go to uh, to this list I'm seeing this message how are you right which is this one and this one is hey John what's up that was the first message which is this one but I need to see this one here the last message sent same here if I go I'm seeing how are you but I want to see this one one more message okay so that I have a quick update of what they said before I can actually read the thread so we'll see how to do that in the next video